Hi, this is Sean, and this is a quick tutorial for showing you how to get set up with the Arduino to Unreal plugin. And I'm going to provide a link to this Google Doc below, and I've got the link here for you to grab the plugin to the latest version. You can click on here, and then also there's a link to the forum discussion, and also I've set up, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of example code that I'll show you that uh, the author has provided here. And it's all well and good, but I've kind of put it all together in a little easier to access um, spot on the Blueprints UE forum. So you can just like go here and copy this and paste it into your Blueprint, assuming that it's you're using around uh, Unreal 4.20. I mean, the code changes every once in a while and you might need to like make small adjustments, but maybe that'll be helpful. All right. Awesome. So the key to getting started is you need to download the plugin. You create a folder, a plugins folder in your project folder and you drop in the, the Unreal plugin stuff there. Then you launch the Unreal project. You go into the settings plugins part and you go under the input section and you should see this uh, Unreal 4 Duino plugin and you just make sure it's enabled. It'll ask you to restart Unreal and you should be good to go. Now, how do you get started? Well, I've springboarded off of uh, a piece of code that the, uh, the creator provided and I added some of my own little bit of code here. And basically this is just sort of some basic inputs and outputs, kind of a hello world type situation. So uh, the, the main thing that I added, you know, is for this demo was that like I have a potentiometer on an analog pin zero and I have, have that tied to uh, just like a, a light that I can, you know, increase the intensity to. So let me show that. So here I've got the uh, code, you know, the amount coming out right now that's reading the analog value. And as I turn the potentiometer uh, down, you should see the light go down. So there you go. You can turn it back up. So it's at zero and we'll go back up. All right, awesome. So I mean, it works. And um, you can do different things to adjust the speed I'm going to show in the blue level blueprint here that I've got. Um, it's just the basic test code that he's provided opening the serial port. Kind of the most important things that you'll want to double check yourself is on your own Arduino setup. You want to make sure you've got the right port that is being reflected by your computer and then make sure you've got the right baud rate. So, I mean, 9600 seemed fine. I mean, one of the things that you'll have to also find uh, the sweet spot is that like I, I put a slight delay because you want to match the, the the serial port data flow speed to the event tick speed in Unreal and get that ironed out so that you, you get the best response. I mean, the other thing that I, I was thinking of doing, I'm going to add a smoothing to the, to the Arduino digital output or to the uh, analog output pin. So the data comes in a little bit smoother anyhow, cause it's an analog uh, system. But here's the other thing that, um, you know, you've got these different uh, code types. So you can like set up based on key strokes that like I have it on the, um, in the Arduino piece of code that when you press F and I, it turns the pin on for the LED under uh, digital pin 13, uh, it's a standard uh, LED and un uh, Arduino. But that's basically the ins and outs of how to get started with this stuff. It's pretty awesome to be able to connect these. I'm excited to try this for a mixed reality with uh, some trackers in VR. But anyhow, I uh, hope this helps and um, have a good one.